are we focusing on this week? Well, today it's all about saving time. Um, and there's nothing worse than you've done all your painting and your decorating and at the end of the day you're absolutely knackered from it all and you've still got all your paint trays and your kettles to wash out and oh uh, and it takes so much time right and we haven't got time we're busy people so i've got a couple of um i don't know you call them hacks these days tips and tricks of the trade that i've been using for years that uh, will really help you out so another reason why we don't want to leave our paint in our paint uh, kettles and our paint trays because when it dries it it goes well it goes all crusty i suppose and um you know there's nothing worse than a crusty rim is there um and you don't want all these bits of paint flaking in to your pristine ready to go paint either um and it's just not very good i mean this is me being really lazy at times um but it, it can it actually can be quite therapeutic to get crusty paint out of of oh, a tub i won't start that now because i'll be here for ages anyway you don't want this don't do this and also what it can do when you put um your fresh paint in it can actually oh excuse me reactivate i really shouldn't Pardon me, <laughs> drink coffee when I'm doing videos because it just repeats on me. Lesson learned. Anyway, so yeah, it can reactivate some paints and then they start peeling up and then you're painting your wall and then you think, well, where did all those bits of crud come from? Well, they come because you didn't, you were lazy, you didn't clean your paint trays out and that is no good. So get rid of them oh. and let's start from the beginning. What do we need to do? Okay, so let's start with our first hack. So I'm calling it a hack because that's a really cool and trendy word to use. And uh, I like to think I'm really cool and trendy. That's it. Okay, so paint kettle to stop you having to number one clean it out number two get dry crud paint all around there that goes in your paint blah 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 get yourself some of these uh, small pedal pin bags about this size is absolutely fine you're probably going to yourself i know what she's going to do well, why haven't you been doing it then you get your bag in it goes. Make sure it's all in there. It doesn't have to be super neat, but as long as there's enough into it there, so when the paint goes in, it doesn't just go like that and you've just completely wasted your time. So make sure there's plenty. Like that. It wouldn't work for a sandwich bag, so you definitely need uh, one of those small uh, pedal bin bags. Um, the larger ones, they're not going to work. That's just too big. And then either get yourself a elastic band like this um, and put that round. That's probably uh, the best way, the easiest way to do it. Um, if you're allergic to latex, get yourself um, some decorators masking tape, which is slightly lower tack than your regular cream masking tape. And that doesn't stick to the uh, plastic quite as much and rip it when you when you take it off so there you go another top tip oh i'm full of them today absolutely full of them so there you go that is ready to go we've lined our paint now you can buy these you can buy these but why spend i think it's about five quid and you get about eight of them why you can buy a whole bag of these 20 you know about a bag of you know a packet of about 20 for couple of quid if that so we've got that we get our paint we pour our paint in like so blah blah in it goes make sure you're nice and clean and tidy and always take that drip off the 
can, like that. And what I always like to do as well, because I don't like crusty rims, I will wipe that with a damp cloth so it doesn't dry. So that is another top tip for you. Okay, so there we are, we've got our bag, we're in here, paint's all lovely and mixed up like that. So when we've finished with our paint at the end of the day, if you're going to use it the next day, just put a bag, another bag over the top of it and you'll be good to go. But if you've finished, get your paint, tin back, empty it back in as best you can, like that. Like that, you won't want to get it everywhere. At this point, there's still quite a bit of paint left in there and we don't want to waste paint because it's, it's expensive, right? Um, so let's just put that there for the moment. So we're going to carefully take that off, like so. Oh, oh, I said carefully, Louise, I said carefully. Don't be, don't be like me, just be careful, take your time. Look what I've done. Look what I've done. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then get the bag like that. And look at that. Look at that. And I want you to squeeze it down. Squeeze it down. This particular video could have so many innuendos. It's unbelievable. But I'm a professional and I'm a sensible person. <coughs> and, and I'm not going to lower myself to those standards. So you just, whatever you like, you think about it yourself. Now grab yourself a pair of scissors. I never have exactly what I need. Here they are, but they're always, always to hand. And we've still got, look, there's still loads of paint in there. A lot of that's air, to be fair. But there's still paint in there. If you're a dog owner, you're gonna know what that feels like. And I'm gonna say nothing else, like I said. I'm matured and I just want you to find the point there from about there and just cut the end off now when you cut the end you've got to be careful and just take it off like that and now you've got an expose and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna squeeze it all out very carefully and that excess paint that was in the bag just goes in the pot and we're not wasting any paint at all whatsoever. So just take your time, blah, blah, blah. There it is, all nicely squeezed out, like that. Got it all out and then wrap it up like that and pop it in the bin. There's no bin there. Why did I do that? Good job I wrapped it up. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. Anyway, so that was your paint kettle. So now is the turn of our roller tray. Now, what are we going to use for this? Now, we're not going to use a plastic bag because if you put a plastic, if you put plastic in there, because it, it's just slippery, so it's going to slip about, and we don't want that because we're going to create all sorts of problems. So the best thing to use is some good old kitchen foil. Now there's a couple of tricks that you need to know before you put it in. So you want to get yourself a bit out first and just line the bottom of the tray first, just like this. There's reasoning behind it, just so it covers the tray. If you've got one of those really long ones, the ones that you use for Christmas for the turkey, you don't have to do this bit, it can go in as one. But because this is a shorter one, so I'm just gonna put that in like that. And now I'm gonna put an extra two in, one there and one there, because one won't, the width isn't long enough. So get yourself off a nice bit, longer than the actual paint tray, and you're gonna do it about halfway. Now when you're putting this in, be careful, this way, when you're putting this in and you're doing the corners, be careful not to poke your finger through because then, you know, you're going to get paint's going to seep through there. So, lovely, lovely, 
so that it'll rub down and that goes to all the contours. Here we're going to put another strip in, like I say, I couldn't find any of the long stuff, uh, the, the, the much uh, longer width, uh, which is perfect for this because you just literally, it's one go and you're in. But if you've only got the short stuff, it just takes a little bit longer. Man, this is noisy! Didn't think about this when I thought about doing this as a video. Anyway, here we go. Again, mould it in, mould it in. Like that, like that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. in a little bit and there you go get your roller just make sure that there's it fits and it's just pushing it down and it's not going to create any major holes in there as you're doing it so now we'll get our paint in it goes lovely Make sure, remember, we're not savages. We clean our paint pots because we're not lazy. Because we know what's going to happen if we don't. Remember, every action has a reaction and a consequence. And if you don't clean things, you will suffer the consequences. Don't say I haven't warned you. Anyway. So again, get a wet cloth and just give that, give that a wet so there we are, our paint is in our tray. So we get our roller and off we go. Off we go, paint tray is in, like that. And off we go, roller in, roller in, roller in. Again, if you've got the longer one, you're not gonna get that annoying coming up, but you know, it's fine. It settles itself down because a little bit will get underneath that and stick to it. So we've done all that, okay, so we've painted the wall, blah, 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 blah. Um, again, if you've finished with it, you've got to clean everything up. If you've got a throwaway roller, wrap it in plastic, blah, 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 blah. Um, throw it in the bin. But uh, another good hack, if you've got some either some uh, cling film or a plastic bag, again, or a carrier bag, not that we have those very often anymore. Oh, I just did a lip thing, don't do that, COVID. Um, so what the hands are, see. At the end of the day, if you're going to use it again, pop it in a bag. You probably know that top tip already, but in case you don't, you've probably just gone, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? But make sure you squeeze all the air out of it, because otherwise, if you don't, and then just roll it up, you get crusty ends, and there's nothing wrong, there's nothing more annoying then across the end. Anyway, so pop that out the way. Let's uh, empty all this paint that we don't need back into our tray. And here you go. Sure. Get the brush to do this. Now at this point, at the end of the day, you're absolutely knackered and you know, you can be a little bit complacent and you'll just go, oh, I can't be bothered, leave it, if, it, if you didn't have that in. But you can do either two things now. Uh, remember, clean your pot before you put your lid on. You can either just leave that as it is, wait for it to dry, or straight away, you can carefully unravel Hold it up nice and carefully so you don't get it all over your hand. Look, nothing has come through. You might get a bit of bleed through, which is why we put that extra little bit in. Take that, like that. Throw that in the bin. There's no bin there. I've done it again. Um, all right. um, and then you've, you've got your pristine, it's all clean. Saved you all that time of standing in front of the sink and to clear it all out, and then the paint goes all over the sink, and you have to wash all the sink, and it's just so oh, it's just we haven't got time. So, yeah, I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone.